hello there, people and sh aliens from other planets. I, uh, you can see something different on the right, and you might be like, what the fuck did you do? What did you break this time, Land Miner? Why? Why? I thought we were friends. Why did you have to do something? No, no, just calm your tits down, okay? I didn't break anything. Quite the opposite, okay? You can, you can, you can shove that fucking... I'm out of ideas. Anyways, let's <coughs> continue doing whatever we were doing. So, I was discussing what I did. So I've recorded uh, a tutorial of which ha had like one hour of me rambling and doing this you see here on the right. So I've decided to continue without uploading it because it was pretty lame, pretty boring. And I mean, it's just this. I mean, it doesn't really do anything. It's just to make it easier to work with uh, with blocks, right? So we can uh, add and remove a lot of features from that this thing so I mean you can see this is how it works stone you can click on top and that's bottom right front uh, grass top uh, top I've actually changed it so I need to put it that back anyways and then you just save all the changes and things will work so I'm gonna give an example let's say the top, you want the let's say the front face of the grass block to be uh, a wooden log so we just play and we find out the front face, which is this one. Nope, it's down one, of course. The, yeah, the last one that I have decided to open. So, yeah, I mean, you can see it works perfectly. The front face is uh, the log texture. Let's change it back to that one. So, and then you can change the name and the, everything, it just works perfectly. If, if you want, if I get a lot of requests, I'm gonna upload the video, but I'm warning you, it's gonna be a lame video. So I just thought I'd keep things like active, I will upload this package, uh, the whole project, to YouTube. There will be a link in the description uh, down below. Well, if, I mean, of course it's below because it's down. Anyhow, um... Yeah, uh, th there will be some slight changes, but everything is will be pretty much the same. I mean, there will there's no difference on the Chang things, other than um, on the ad face, where we actually uh, read all the bottom, the front faces, and all like that. So yeah. So the main reason I did this is because I want to add another option there. I mean, it's a lot easier to texture things. But I also want to add uh, some some additional things, right? So we're here on block. Oh, I forgot to say a hashtag event, uh, true or false. Here I'm gonna say then, I'm gonna add this on, on camera right now. So keep tuned, uh, I'm gonna add this up here. So I'm gonna say, Editor GY layout that toggle this bad boy. This is equal to that. And I'm gonna add a label. Oops, yeah, I forgot. Uh, block that has tick uh, event. I'm gonna say has tick event. And then it should pop up right here. Um, there you go, has tick event. The only one that has a tick event for now is the grass block. Um, yeah, it updates accordingly. Yeah. I mean, if you don't click on save all changes, sometimes it saves automatically. But, I mean, it's uh, sometimes it will not. So, you, you are really safe uh, saving the changes. Uh, really, I mean, if you don't save the changes, you are fucked. Quite literally. Anyhow, so has tick event, uh, what else did I forget? I didn't forget anything else. Okay, so let's actually do another public game object. Um, block model. Now this one is gonna be an interesting one. We wanna actually say public boolean is entity, enti T, is that how you write it? Entity, entity, entity block. It's got to false as well by default. 
um, is anti entity block. Then here we actually need to change the according boolean. <coughs> here I'm going to do <coughs> if is entity block, then I'm going to display. Um, I'm going to do this block the uh, block model. It's equal to editor GUI layout dot object field bam type of uh, game object. And here we don't need anything else. We're just gonna say as game uh, as game object. I mean, like so. Then we get back here. And we say bam. Then we have this uh, object here. By default, apparently it sets it to this thing. But we are actually gonna be using uh, a prefab. Oak, can I use a prefab? Block model. It's a game object. Call the game object block model. Just because we game manager by default, can I? No, I cannot do that. Mm, that's going to be interesting. Uh, wait, before we actually try and fix this, because it was a little bit bugged, I want to do uh, another thing with this is uh, thingy thing. So here, if it is um, a block, if it isn't a block, we want to show all the D's. Otherwise, we don't want to show any of that. So we don't render it. We just want to render that if it is an, uh, an entity block like that. See how it toggles. Right, for this, I'm going to make another another block. I'm going to, I'm going to call this block here uh, chest. Display name chest. Chest block. This is a way to find the block uh, by code. We don't use IDs. We use uh, these names for now. Maybe I'm gonna set up some IDs later on. Mm, for now, we're gonna be using uh, chests and stuff like that. Not chests, names. Uh, anyways, has tick event. Um, this is gonna be actually true, but it's not that kind of a tick event. We're gonna do another type of events, which is um, interact event, which will include right clicking, right? So, yeah, this is an. Uh, entity block and then we need actually to fix this so we're gonna try something different so game average geo with sql then just copy all that oops oh there you go so this is what you should be seeing so then I have a, a little prefab I found this model uh, from a YouTube guy, a, a YouTube video, the guy made some blocks on Blender, so I just exported it from Blender uh, as a DAE file or whatever you want to call it. And I mean, it's just a, it's the same size as the cube. I resized it to make sure it fits inside a cube. And <coughs> uh, what's there special about it? It has a rig. It has a rig, so I can animate it. If I has a little bone which is called lid which allows me to rotate the lid uh, accordingly so we can have a little animation of it going like deep 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 yeah you get it you get the, you get the idea so yay we got a new block now we need to actually yeah resources blocks and there is the whole block list now we have to use it accordingly right so how do we use it accordingly? Good a question. We're gonna have here, uh, like we have for each um, for each map, we have a list of, uh, of the blocks. Uh, we're also gonna have a list of game objects. All right, just like that. Uh, do I wanna do this? I think no, nah, no. Nah. I don't know if we actually need to do this. Uh, I think that we just need um, an array of um, of game objects, just so we have what to delete every single time. So objects, uh, actually entities. Should I say 
soft block entities because block entities aren't going to move around they're going to be static all the time the only difference uh, is that they're not going to be a part of the mesh chunk they're going to be uh, something uh, something else something different <coughs> so another thing i want to add to this thing to the block uh, is another boolean which is uh, is transparent. Well, that we can add later. Um, is uh, can collide with, which is always going to be equal to true. That's going to be good for water later on. All right. Where is it? Here it is. Has tick event is. Uh, yeah, I want to add this here. Player can collide. Can collide with. Just like that. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. So here on C Mesh. We're gonna say we want to do that, and also we want to actually get the block here. So block B is equal to world dot blocks. I've changed the location of it. Map uh, X Y and Z. So that should return us the block. We want to actually do minus one for us to get the exact uh, the exact uh, block. Since zero is air, and we need to get a one, yeah, just do minus one for for you to get the right block. Then we want to say <coughs> if block that is, um, yeah, we actually need his block transparent. Is transparent just gonna be equal to false by default. Is transparent just like that. I want to say that the chest block is a transparent block because we can see uh, what is behind it, right? And then here on the is block transparent, we're gonna say uh, return to get wall block is equal to zero. Actually, uh, It doesn't really matter. Anyways, get world block. This is gonna return that uh, minus one. No. Fuck. Beak. There we go. Uh, int block ID is equal to get world block. So if the block ID is equal to zero, you wanna uh, say that. <coughs> then wanna get block. B, which is equal to world dot blocks block ID. So if that or if B that is transparent. Okay. Same thing here actually. Minus one, minus one. Here, if block ID is equal to zero, or this is transparent, just like that. Anyway, so if the block is um, is entity block, we do that. Otherwise, we render it as usual. <coughs> So if it is entity block, we say game larger geo actually entity. It's equal to instantiate uh, the position. It's chunk position plus new vector free x y and z. Oh, don't worry. Fuck. Here we say b dot uh, model. There and then here, quaternion dot identity. 
as game object. <clears throat> mm, we just need a list of game game objects. Actually, don't don't let's not get wait nah. list of list of game objects is that we're gonna have wait 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 we're gonna have an array wait Give me a second, I'm still trying to fit. I want to have an array of lists, so I think this is how you do it. Nope. Fuck. Okay, an array of lists. I'm here on awake. New array of list. Uh, here's a chunk stack. Just like that. And then here, say this and then the chunk dot add entity. <clears throat> and then as we recalculate it, we're going to say this that y for each actually for each game object geo in that list we're gonna say destroy geo we'll have to change this system let's actually go to uh, the block controller and say chest block here on the uh, the block we place. So you get a null reference. This is what's giving me the null reference. I mean, we are in initializing it right here. equals a new list of game objects. Nope, that's not how it works. <laughs> oh my goodness. We actually need to initialize every single one of them, so... is our range oh because if the block is zero then it yeah if if block ID is bigger than zero no no no, no. if block ID is zero return true if not do that here we want to do the exact same thing, but otherwise, return that. Okay, the world is generating. Can place a chest. There you go, the chest is placed. If I somehow. No, I cannot break it since it's not there, but I mean. You can see I'm not able to place another block there because there already existed. Every time I'm clicking it, it's actually uh, all the game objects are being destroyed and re, um, re implemented. 
Okay, so we actually need to fix its offset because it's a little bit awkward. So I'm gonna put place it right underneath me. Fuck. Bam. So it needs to fit the the hole. Put the lightning on. So this chest needs to move like this. Y zero point five zero. So point five zero zero prefabs chest. So here is point five zero zero. There you go and play. So bam. And the chest has been placed. Isn't that amazing? Now we need a, a collider for it. So let's add it to the scene. Let's go ahead and do box collider. Well, thing is, that's not really. Let's add it to the mesh. So now it will encapsulate it automatically. Let's see how it is englobing the whole, the whole mesh. So now if we play, we right click you can see you can actually delete it and place on top of it and remove it and we can actually collide with it mm. awesome isn't it oh snap I think after, if you put way too many of these, your frames per second are going to go way down at like, by f blah, 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 because it's going to recalculate everything. No. I was expecting quite, um, quite a drop, but it, it appears it's going to be good for now. Hmm. Nice. So now let's make it face us. I want to the the chest to be facing the direction that I am placing. How are we gonna do that? Uh, good question. Calculate mesh. Here we go. Here, <coughs> containing that identity. Uh, what if? Uh, okay, I got an idea. Let's do another thing here. I actually want to do uh, this on the player. Can we access? Do we have a thing to access the player? Hmm. Eh, I'm gonna do it here. Uh -huh. Public quaternion facing direction. So I'm gonna do uh, game object. Or yeah, game object. C, which is equal to camera that main. So this will get the main camera, the camera that is uh, being used. Uh, that, I'm gonna use the transform because I just need to transform. So then we want to round up the um, quaternion C rotation is equal to C dot rotation. Then we do if C R. Mm, okay, I'm. We don't want to work with quaternions actually. We want to work with the forward. Um, she's gonna see that forward. And then we want to say, we want to say if um, vector free that angle. F vector free that forward is smaller or equal to 45 degrees I'll do that and then else if so this is north um, so here we do the right now we do the exact same thing this I'm gonna do south here south is gonna be the back 
And then the other one uh, is going to be uh, just tells. Uh, cannot run south. What's left? West. C can you actually say uh, that actually not forward? Forward. Dot. I think it's already normalized, but I'm going to normalize it anyways because it needs to be normalized. <coughs> Sorry for that. Um, and here we do the left one. Otherwise, we just return uh, vector three that forward. So here, I don't know if you can say like this that uh, transform that forward. It's equal to get facing direction. Uh, actually, we are doing something wrong here. I need to say here, um, we need to say the facing direction. Public vector free uh, facing direction. And here we say. <coughs> Set world block. Here I'm going to do vector free facing direction. So all block is equal to get world block. Du -du 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 -du. It's equal to block ID. Oh, not that is not going to work. Fuck. Yeah, we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna stop right here.